Have you ever used Sokotoa before in math? Well, if you have, you're wrong! And I'll tell you why. Now, don't get me wrong, it is really helpful in geometry, but then it starts breaking down around the trigonometry level. This is because you can't really think of sine as opposite over hypotenuse anymore, or as cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. You have to start thinking about them differently. And I'm going to show you how. Now, imagine we took a circle with a radius of 1. That's not the best looking circle, but whatever. Now imagine we drew another radius on there that makes an angle with the x-axis and the line. There you go. Now I'm just going to call this angle right here x. Now with this unit circle, we can define what sine, cosine, and tangent are. So imagine we drew another line from this point to the x-axis in order to make it a triangle. Now in this triangle, this would be the hypotenuse, this would be a leg, and this would be another leg. Now imagine we took this leg and we gave it a length. Well, that length is defined to be the sine of x. The sine of this angle right here is this length right here. Now imagine we took the other leg and we gave it a length. Well, the length of that line would be the cosine of x. Great, so now we know what sine and cosine are defined as, but what is tangent defined as? Well, tangent is defined as sine over cosine. Well, if you were to take this length, the sine of x, over this length, the cosine of x, then you would get the rise over the run, or the slope. So basically, the slope of this line right here would be the tangent. So, just remember sine as the y-coordinate, cosine as the x-coordinate, and tangent as a slope. God bless.